Tired of your IKEA wardrobes looking too basic? Here's how to make them look custom. First, you need to make a base. Start by measuring 58 centimeters from your wall where the sides of your wardrobes are gonna come up to and marking with pencil. You then wanna use your multi-tool to cut the line. Remove your baseboard by scoring the cork along the top and using a pry tool to pull it away from the wall. It should just be held on with glue and nails. If you have carpet, you'll want to cut it at 58 centimeter point all along with a Stanley blade and pull up carpet underlaying gripper rods. You've now created your flat base for the frame. Here's the cuts you'll need for each wardrobe. If you have any gap at the side, factor that in too. You'll want horizontal supports on each side and in the middle. If you're building three separate frames, you'll need to secure them to each other as well as to the studs, but you don't have to. I find it easiest to assemble before attaching it. I use 60mm M5 screws to connect them. I'm amazed I didn't use pocket holes for once. You can then move your wardrobes back on top, ensuring the sides are square with the frame. I secured the frames together by screwing from the long side into the shorter pieces. As you can see, the baseboard now comes up to the perfect level, but I'll show you how to put that on a later stage. So that's your bottom frame built. Stay tuned for how to frame it around the top and sides and follow for more DIY.